Alrighty, let's play this in full. There is some. That's so cool. Then the sound off. This one is one of those picks where I feel like everything's awesome and I just want to talk about it. I do add some of these that are, I think are really cool too at the end of my compilation for a, kind of like a bonus thing. But I do wanted to show this one go and go in there frame by frame. The thing is when you watch this, it all feels totally fine. Sometimes it's always a bit of a bummer when you go frame by frame. Again, which you don't really watch in frame by frame, but to have these effects, I would still add, because there's so much love put into all this, to still have a bit of a tweak in how these moves, they don't stick over multiple frames. There's one at the end as well here. When you go up and see that effect here, where it kind of holds, I don't know if something that, if you're already putting all that work in there, it could be something to kind of tweak. Picky things like when that hand gets on there, we're kind of locked on this where it feels a bit IK and then there's no real compression and change in the figures. If I be super picky, this just feels a bit too IK with the bending and the movement and with this hand, it's kind of being still. But I like the weight of it as it comes down. It's just enough time for it to go and over. Also feels, as again, as a viewer, I reviewed some of the Toy Story stuff before where I haven't animated these, so it's not, I don't know the ins and outs, but as a viewer, this feels very buzz where he has those quick moves and tuck and rolls. I think this is really nicely incorporated in here. I think going back, maybe something where we can see the foot a bit more here, just pushing and cleaning up that silhouette a little bit where it gets a bit muddy right through there. But as always, I love the added 2D effects. I love all of this. Get a full extension on the legs coming in. And again, I like that immediate lean for that push off, push off with the full extension. So there's just enough weight. To get in there and i love this here this is really cool push off with that as a nice frame into this with that turn just seeing enough of the face there i think that's really neat too again the 2d effects really complement this nicely i love this here how we get into that that type of framing but still seeing his head with the eyes and then the mouth reveal here just for a little bit again this is once you watch it in real time it just holds enough now, when you see all that action, the stuff that kind of holds and freezes, what am I looking at? I'm seeing this. I think this is really nicely presented and nicely staged. Just tiny things for me in terms of the IKEA hands and some silhouette here and there. But I just love the rhythm of it. All of that, if I may make some weird sound effects. I just like the rhythm and the holds as we go back, the contrast and the just the pattern of the slow and fast, I think is really neat. It's really nicely presented. The camera moves are great. There's nothing too confusing. And you have the camera that doesn't lead. It's going to say that leads, that doesn't lead. It's the character that leads the camera at all point. The camera always kind of has to adjust and catch up. And I think that's really, really cool all the way up to here. Just generally, it's really well done. Really nice presentation. I just love being in uh, in Andy's bedroom. I love seeing that. Just we're moving around the set, we're moving the space, and it doesn't feel like it's just you know flat to camera. There's not that much happening. I mean, this is this must challenge is very dynamic. I think this lens, the the topic lends itself to doing something more like that. But I think the execution is just really really cool. Love seeing this. I would love seeing more shorts with buzz like that. I think that'd be really cool. Uh, and that's it. Thank you.